630, Colorado lawmakers looking at a bill to create a paid medical and family leave program. And some small business owners are concerned. News 5's Allison Zimmerman tracking the bill at the state capitol for us. She joined us in studio to explain some of these possible changes, Allison. Robin Elizabeth, the bill is lengthy, but it could have an impact on your paycheck. Since this is considered an enterprise fund, meaning it doesn't go into the state's general budget, if the bill passes, it won't need voter approval to become law. Colorado's economy is growing, and with more workers in the state, lawmakers are looking at creating a program for family and medical leave that you and your employer would pay into. If, if we have even a small percentage of people who stay in the labor force because uh, we now have paid um, family and uh, medical leave, then uh, we're really increasing our tax base. But small business owners in Colorado are concerned. To try to mandate something like that is going to affect employees and their wages. It simply is, and it's going to affect how we do business in Colorado. David Jeffrey owns a business with about 30 workers in Colorado Springs. He says this could have a big impact. So that's going to affect things. It's going to affect the benefits that we offer. It's going to affect the wages that we offer, and it's going to affect business. So here's how it would work. For someone making $30,000, it would cost about 65 bucks a year. The contribution would cap at about $250 a year for high earners in the state. But those rates could change after the first year and a half of the program when the rate is decided by the director. Economic experts say there could be some added benefits to this. This bill will go in front of a committee on Wednesday, and understandably, many local business leaders say they are watching this piece of legislation closely. Always watching out for you, Southern Colorado. Allison Zimmerman, News 5.